Hey, miss, I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know, they're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. John, what are you doing? Let's go. We don't have much time. Come on. Easy. Come on, John. You've got you got Bill Williamson to kill. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna get me my wife and kid back. Pastors who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. I'm gonna save my voice for the herd. It's gonna be hard shouting over this storm. Look out! This it's one. slippery. Hey, cows. Honey. Try not to lose any cows. The weather changes fast down here. This storm came out of nowhere. Oi. Yeah. Get together with your friends. Go. No, you are not leaving her. Go. Go. Stupid cow. Oh my god, what are you doing? Cows, come on. Oh, Bonnie. No, no. Hey, hey, hey. Stay with your family. Come on. Go. Oops. Hey, 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 oh, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, no, calm yourself, go back, you turn, you turn, No. Turn. Turn around. Go, go, go. Form up. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Right. You. You two, go back. 
Don't you feel safe with your family? Come on. You. Let's go. Okay, hurt. Let's go back to the ranch. All of you. Zigzagging. Zigzagging to move these horses. Cows. Nope. Do not leave your herd, asshole. Hey, hey, hey. Depend on you for livelihood. Go back. No. God, some of these ranches are stupid. All twenty one cows. Nope. Come on, get back into your stupid little you know, coop thing, pasture, whatever. Get in. All of you. That will do. Stupid cows. Hooray! 21 cows. Also, my honor took a hit just now when I accidentally ran over a, a dog. Jobs in town pay twice as much. Nice. However, I don't think that's the, um, that's the main mission, isn't it? Now, everything's gone now, so let's go to W. It's the, um, it's the Nigel West Dickens. See if I can make like a little shortcut for myself if I go through here. Oh, is that a cliff? On, no, it isn't. My horse is fast, right? Go. Is that the same uh, bandit camp that I was at just now? Come on, horsey. We can do it. Whoa, ho, ho. we are not going down there anytime soon. Can we try? Horse? Can we go down here? Look, it's like a little path. Come on. No, I didn't wreck it, so. Right. Detour. If my horse jumps and I fall off, I will die from it, won't I? Probably break my back, everything. Yeah. Let's go, this way. I wish there was like a little indicator as to like how far it actually is. Question mark, ignored. Shit. Okay. Follow the path. Come on. Follow the path. Right, I think I'm gonna cut to where we actually run into this guy. Hey, do what? What? Who, who are you? What do you want? Oh shit! All right, time to test out my new gun.
Oh man. Did the merchant die? Oh well. That's disappointing. The merchant died. And I'm and here I am looting everything. Can we just not have the loot animation really? Sorry horse. Oh. Are they just too big? Okay. It's another one. Is it the other horse? Sorry horse. Yeah. Yeesh. There's <laughs> blood just everywhere. Man, that's rough. Sorry, merchant dude. C couldn't help you there. Hey. Right, onward and off. Onward we go, I guess. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck, god damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? The closest doctor is in Armadillo! There we go. Now, why would you tell me to draw my weapon? What is your name, friend? John Morrison. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse How me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Baller Twins, Walton's gang! I know who you are! They're back! I'm done for! We're never gonna make it! Before. Get off! Do you wanna die? I would save some of those bullets for the men trying to kill us! Looks like you got them all! Now, get me to a doctor! What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Hoodlums! The scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die! I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They see a man in a well-cut suit and this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give so much and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our maker is a funny sense of humor sometimes. Well, at least I met you. How many of these are there? Got him. I knew you'd come. What? I knew this wasn't my time. He has a greater purpose for me. You're delirious and plain dumb, friend. Fate brought you to my aid. Why else are you helping me? There's him a go! Faster, John! Faster! Not too fast, sir! I beg you! I'm not sure I'll make it! If we don't get you to a doctor soon, you definitely won't make it. You're killing me! Get back on the damn road! I am on the road, you... Death, I embrace you. For Christ's sakes, man, you're gonna be fine. Take We're nearly me there. Into your arms. Oh, shut up. We're here. Stay with me. Oh, oh. Where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you, you're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. 
Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus! But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Cool. Save that guy. No, oh, he's. Uh, well, his horse freaked out. Hello? Here? Nigel's wound was like sometimes to heal. While you're waiting, you can further explore New Austin. Something to do. Ah, oh, Marshall's got something for me. Hey, Marshall. Spare the rod, spoil the bandit. Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? You've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Fuck's sake, Eli. Hey, wait up! Right, we go. These Let's people the make breeze, me sick. Boys. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Hey, Marshal, see those vultures? We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. All right. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Winchester repeater. Hmm. Right. To be fair, I do have quite a few guns right now. Like, I have a shotgun as well. Come on! Although, I only have two rounds. Whoa! Let's go, Marshall. other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. The hell is this place? Look, Marshal! More vultures! We best take a look, boys. Me first. Yeesh. dead body and the fire still smoking those scumbags must still be around come on let's 
pound leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Nobody dismount until I tell them. I just dismounted. You don't. You don't give me orders. This is too quiet. I got a bad feeling about this. Let's put my horse here. It's blood here. Nobody's in the shed. There is blood though, so, you know. Hmm, more blood. No one here. All right, let's go. Let's go to the barn, I guess. Tumbleweed. That door now. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Shoot the boards off the barn door, huh? Take cover, John. All right, boys. We need to get into that house right now. Look, over there. You know what, Jonah? You're right. What have we got here? For Christ's sake. This way. Got time to loot the bodies afterwards. They're upstairs. All right. Okay. Oh, they they killed him. <laughs> it's two more of these guys. I think we'll deal a bit of. We deal a little bit of nice justice to them with, with the revolver. Sweet justice. Out of way. You and me gonna have ourselves some fun. There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Christ alive! As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. Keep Got your him. head down. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Not on my watch. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. You mean let's loot the bodies, right? That's what you meant, right? Nope. Marshall, you're a good man and all. But I ain't got time for that. I've got to loot the bodies. There's a lot of money on them. Right. Do we go down? Yes, we go down. Money. 
God knows I need money. I, I, I just bought two guns. Wait, hey, hey. Yep. I think that's all. I'm stuck on this wall. This invisible wall. Alright, time to check out the farmers. Which is here, I think. Someone tried to escape into the south, but then some robbers started chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folky men. You ain't nothing. You just a man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets fifty dollars. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives, people's homes. Out up, boy. We gotta get after those bandits. Follow fifty me. bucks. Oh my god. Come on. All right, ladies, quit, quit it. We did our best. Sir Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe. All oh, this sure looks like their handiwork. Makes sense if they cut this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. Well, what's your it... beef with Williamson anyway, Marston? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. Is that somebody on the cliff? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! There's gonna be a shootout. Get ready, boys. Here they come. Come on, where are they? Reload to full. There's one left. There's the son of a bitch. I'm Tell Bill he's a dead man. Son of a bitch. French hole. Heads up before them coming down the hill. You're gonna lose. Oh, you know oh boy. Because you ain't smart enough. Bring me Williams. Boom. Good grief. You bastards killed a lot of innocent people. You kill me in ten more, I'll take you to the hellfire. All righty. Give me Williamson. That's all of them. Give yourself up. You should have run when you had the chance. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> this something makes you still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. Oh. 
Norman Deke. Fuck! I see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Well, you guys go on and lovely do that. I will loot these bodies. Ow! New weapon available, huh? I'll tell you what, though, all these money can easily afford a new weapon. I think. Oh, I hope. That shotgun certainly didn't come cheap. These guys have got, like, they, they have scraps. Four dollars? Can't buy myself any ammo of that. Moonshine. Awesome. So I've got two missions, one with Barney and one with... What's his face? Weird, weird fat guy. I think we'll do the bonding one first. Well, how far out? Oh, not too far, but it, no, no, that's armadillo. Holy shit! Okay. I'll tell you what. We'll do Nigel, Nigel's mission now. We'll do Bonnie's afterwards. Come on. And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you a good day, sir. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> How are your wounds? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then, they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. It feels like we're scamming people. You know what? It doesn't even feel like it. We are scamming people. Let's not run over the dogs. It's raining. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your 
God-given talents for you, Oliver and Ben. I'm really starting to regret this. I'll drop this. you off at the outskirts of Bridgewood. That way, it won't look like you came together. Once I'm set up, saw the nonchalantly in the cloud of the shore. Eventually, I'll call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to make you impress the king. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a shame. No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo to grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Ballyhoo? That awesome young girl you see on the boy at the camera poster knows the first thing about photography. Advertising, my boy, is the future. You'd best be a man of your word. You better give me a lot of money for this. You little shit. Your boy, so no one sees us arriving together. See you shortly, and remember, showmanship. Wouldn't want to see, wouldn't want to be seen arriving with you as well. Whee! -ye. Feisty. Yeah. Wasn't this area just shot up like a couple of minutes before? Lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain. Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chest, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> well, can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of it by... Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent topic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you to say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Whatever you say, buddy boy. Alright, slowly, slowly. Come on, do not keep the crowd waiting. Wait, he is still adjusting to his powerful new eyes. How would... that's not Try miss. again, friend. The tonic may still be taking hold. Ah. There's a man walking. Why is it so hard to aim? There we go. The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? 
My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. Come on, dead. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Go on. I've got dead eye. Here it comes. All right, throw it. You can lock on the multiple time. Have you ever seen such an eye? Behold the power of Elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey! Hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? Well, it don't work like that. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Prepare for a display of Herculean okay. brawn. Ground tackle. Uh, uh, come on. Oh shit. There it is, skeptics and dissenters. Irrefutable proof. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get this him. Now. Watch out! He's got a gun! Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. <laughs> Shot, dear boy! The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes and head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and I, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's a most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! <laughs> 